Hello and welcome again to Steve's Long Stay Workshop. And today I've got a bit of a treat for you all. Um, a, few, a, bit of a week or so ago, Jeff and Jade Vintage Junk had a lovely old portable radio uh, which, he, which he repaired for, for his garden. It was uh, an echo transistor radio, MP333 series, and the Ferranti version, by the way, is P1040, I think. I, I know that Ferranti and Echo and also Pi, we, uh, but we're all uh, in the same factory by them. I liked it, and I thought, I know, I'll get one. So I went on to eBay, as you do, and uh, lo and behold, there were two. One for 50 quid, and one for 16 quid. Which one do you think I picked? Is it 16 quid? You'd be right, because I'm a cheapskate. But anyway, what came about a week later was this, which is, which is a, the, quest, the radio in question. I mean, m most of these jewellery attaché case radios are old. This one's different because it is, in fact, um, is in fact um, transistorised all the way through. Not a valve in sight with this. I will be some valve stuff coming up soon that I promise you. But for now, it, there's this one. Now, uh, it, it's in similar condition to uh, Jay's with one slight problem. This one doesn't work. Which of course again is why I bought it because of course it didn't work. And not only does it not work, it makes some very interesting noises. Um, the circuit board on this has been worked on in the past. Um, I'll, just, I'll just see if I can show you. Uh, let, let, let that out of the way. And so there's the circuit in question. Um, a lot of resorting has gone on and um, I don't know what condition uh, the knobs are in or the um, space chain switch but uh, I, I played it earlier on and I didn't play it as such and I'm more like uh, heard some noises and there was quite interesting noises too um, hopefully this is just uh, a simple uh, a simple job, but um, something tells me it's not. Exactly. So this particular radio has got a little bit of problem. Now, also with these sets, um, you are not switched on these, it's um, on the top here. Um, which is, if I can just turn it round, here, on the top. And so as soon as you lift the lid, it comes on the way. These vanity first radios, they were quite, quite, quite popular in the 1950s, but um, a bit later on of course, they weren't. And this was sort of like a middle between the two if you like and um, like I said Pi, uh, Echo and Ferranti did them they were all, all stable at this point also Ferranti did a set which looked like a valve set but was transistorised and Pi by Tech is still a model as well I've got one somewhere, I have two actually one that works and one that doesn't so I'll, I'll do, do them out some time and have a look but to, because these are quite rare as a result it's certainly worth having a look at. So have a look is what we'll do. The case, by the way, isn't, isn't, isn't in good condition, but isn't in bad. And um, here's the handle as well. I've got some um, some some red somewhere from the um, left over from the uh, the hacker I do. So I'll I'll probably use some of that. But for now, let's have a look at this radio and see what we can do, what we can't do what it can do and what it can At the moment, exactly, yeah. So, this radio has got a slight problem. Well, probably more than slight, but you know, certainly a problem. And so, next thing we do, and have a look at the radio itself and sort out, uh, first of all, 
how to get this out of the case because I, um, I will, I will uh, take this out of here and we'll deal with the case once we've got the radio working. These are actually very sensitive sets. Um, they are actually, you know, for what they are, they are the, the, this is well, they're very sensitive sets. Um, also with this, by the way, um, it doesn't have the AF-107 transistors in. Nor, by the way, does it have the uh, the uh, RC-17 series. Transistors in this are, are the uh, Mazda Edison types, of course, uh, X102, X103, those. So the transistors in this won't have the famous problem, which is also very much in its favour. Well, this lid on this case come off. The hinges come off the back here at the top end and the lid comes off to reveal two more screws underneath which hold the set in. That lot is now being uh, made out of the way and of course we will uh, look at that in more detail once the set has been sorted. And the set itself, as, uh, 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 as we know it makes some interesting noises which I can, um, I can again um, demonstrate for you. Actually, I wondered actually if, it, if it's worth uh, leaving it like, like, like this and, 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 and let it run outside, you know, but, um, you know, neighbours might not like it, but, you know, why not? It's not working at the moment because, um, with it being this way up on the bench, the, uh, the switch means it's switch, it switched off. So pick it up, and there we are. So uh, we get a screwdriver, put it underneath, and the, the unit shall continue to operate like so. Now, when you get a problem like this, first thing you do is look at the circuit board, go to the and look for any dry joints. You can see it. Part of this hasn't worked on this whole so. Well, that doesn't mean, of course, there's not something on the board that needs to be replaced, so. Yeah, well, exactly. Also, by the way, it's worth at this point um, looking at. Uh, the switch control down here because uh, where's change switches as anyone will tell you can be the root of all evil the volume control by the way and there we go hmm. okay that can go uh, into here with the rest of the uh, parts of the set and um, uh, ah okay basically at this point we're having, uh, having a good look around and uh, looking at the set and seeing what it's made of and what its problems could or couldn't be Anyway, one control, tuning, um, the front here, the circuit board, input transformers there, and the input transformers are here. Now, 
没事，没事啊。我这是哪个？ Is that the 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 crossbow now? You see here. Does not vary with the volume control. This means, therefore, that、um, it's probably going to be on the、uh, audio side. That was that, okay. And、uh, so now we go to the audio side and have a good look round there.、Um, and more rapid. Look, look, look carefully at it and see. Well, the anything that looks as though it could need to be、uh, refreshed or rehashed or even dry. This point, by the way, is where your solding and the、uh, observation skills really, really come in. And、um, just because something has been folded before doesn't mean it's not dry. By the way, believe me, it doesn't. So、uh, I will start by looking at anything that.、Uh, I've had to look at before, and、uh, we've looked at before as well, and、uh, we can、uh, we can start trying to、um, sort out where the problem is or isn't. Working now here, you notice. Conductive stuff is going as well. Right. Well, I'm going to、uh, have a little look round it now. So、um, I'll be back shortly with the results. Right. Well, inside this now, of course, I take it、uh, four, take it、uh, four knots and thing came apart completely. And、um, I look round the board, pulled it, pulled it a bit, and now it's fallen completely silent. So, so the, the problem I had before intermittently has now become permanent. This is a lot easier to deal with.、Right. You, may, you may think at this point that, 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 I, that I've gone back with this. Anyway, I've not. I've, I've, I've gone forward because now I've got a serious intermittent fault. It's now become a permanent fault, and a permanent fault is a lot easier to find. So let's go and have a look. First of all, the noise from the speaker, which means that the、uh, input stages are okay, and、uh, from there we we just go back. Which is what we'll do, sort of like now. Now, first place we're looking in this situation is the、uh, crystal diode. 
I'm not sure where it is on this, but well, I'll find out and we'll take it from there. Must have come with this one, I promise you. Could have begun one, this. And maybe at the end of it, it will play music rather than tell. Right, well, the set is now on the bench here. And uh, I've, been, I've got the circuit diagram and uh, the layout that we've got the seat here from Vince's service data CD run by the way um, it says echo BP333 like I've said and also a Ferranti PT101 if you're um, got the Ferranti version and um, this one is not working at all mate and the first place I look of course with this always PAIR power supply fine uh, switch okay the capacity missing first of all actually, but uh, we'll come to that later on because it's only a smoothie cap and it doesn't really matter on a, where, where they so I'll, I'll come back to that. But um, without it it works, then stop, so anyway, from there it should go to the primary, not to the primary of T2, so we do, okay? And from there it also goes to the um, eight pots of T, you see, of uh, it put that of course goes to um, the V6 and V7. It, they all mark V on for some reason, but the transistor but they mark V, so V6 and V7. And um, they, 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 they don't appear to be working quite right, um, you know. Um, the uh, So going across the, co the uh, collectors, both of those have, have voltage on them, yeah. But the emitters, of course, should be at half the voltage, and they're not. They're at um, what they are at um, the same voltage as the collectors. Look at the circuits here, therefore. That means that one or both of these transistors are open circuits. Now I've not got any of these transistors here, but I have got a couple of OC72s. Now uh, a germanium transistor is a germanium transistor, whether it's um, AF107, which is desperate, uh, AC, AF127, or uh, ones in this, or um, the uh, the OC series. So what I'll, what I'll do, I'll I've looked up the um, the details on the OT series and they'll fit straight in this. So I will do that and then I'll come back to you. Right, well I've been in this set now and I've tapped around and I've got it working again. Um, I must admit with this actually, these Mazda Edison transistors do, do have a problem with the legs falling off. And so when I tap the board, e even really gently with the pen here, like you know, like that. You know, it actually was enough to set it off, and the problem was entirely the uh, X1 transistors. The light like Russian transistors do got a top hat on, but um, that is really where the the uh, similarity ends because these transistors in this might have been good in the day, but they're not now, particularly the 8 plus series. So what I've done actually, the two 8 plus transistors, um, which were uh, they were uh, X. Uh, X one together, um, two, two X, XA one or ones. Um, they, well, the XA XA one or ones. They're gone. The two uh, XC one or ones. Sorry, one was faulty and one wasn't. And so I took them out and I replaced them with all C seven ones and um, they went rather well in that position and also from that of course there was no noise from that at all but unfortunately the, uh, the one that worked okay I tried it in, in, in the driver's stage because that transistor was faulty as well and it worked but it was very very noisy in when I tapped it so that went out and each place I, I put a Russian transistor um, a G, hang on uh, it's um, a GT332A. 
that works very well in that position as well and what's more the, um, the noise and the the noise and the and the um, noise that would crack the board are completely gone and the radio now works um, so we can see now I can stop it and as you see from that it doesn't actually create any problems not the end of the story however because long way is uh, doing things it shouldn't do as well so that's the next thing let's just show you actually before we go any further um, long way Bongwave is noisy and in the wrong place. Now one, in these sets it's this capacitor here which I, I need to adjust. But I'll check the area as well to make sure that there's no more trouble with these other IF transistors in the area which are the original ones and they're okay so I'm going to leave them be. There are some small hunts caps in this as well. They also seem to be okay so I'm going to leave those. Uh, no they won't but um, in a set like this it only, only takes six volts, it's on a nine volt battery here, it, they, don't, they don't cause that much trouble um, as you can hear. But so on, on medium wave in particular it seems to be um, very happy and uh, sensitive too. There is a I mean, that's really like you said. So, this set is now on the road to recovery, and then when this is done, of course, I've got the case to do as well. And then it, it'll be a nice set to use in the garden when I'm sitting out on a sunny afternoon because they are coming, and we do have a back garden. I can sit in there and not get in anybody's way, and, it, and I don't have to do any um, any legal distancing. So. Um, It'd be nice for that, won't it? So uh, that's what I'm up to with it. These transistors, by the way, they're not the original ones, but uh, you can put anything in in the, amp in the output things anyway. Uh, in the IF and RF, I would think if we had to change them, I would think um, Russian transistors or uh, AF uh, 127s, 117s, or T171s. Um, Possibly the um, BC 450s. I don't know, but uh, <coughs> so far this uh, is coming along rather well. And um, next thing, of course, is long wave. Right. Well, here's the radio now uh, working, of course, on the as you know, because uh, I sorted it the audio amplifier. Those are the two were uh, OC 72s I put in. The transformers are that one and that one. And be careful with these because they are in fact uh, wired very differently. Also I really need that the transistors there you see, they are the top hat transistors that were used but for Master Eddie's one. And similarly also many Russian transistors were built the same way. The FTs by the way, the FTs are similar to sets the ones used in Robert sets as well, so that they're worth uh, looking at. Smart the the caps of course are Hunt's ones. I'm going to go through them and see if they're okay, if, if, if the answer will be from out. And uh, that's it, of course, that's a look at there. This set, like I said, is um, is operated by which, which in the lid, by this button, which uh, I can... There, you see. That is an off switch. If I press it down, the set will go off. So, so, so the, the lid presses that switch down, and the thing goes off. Um, that's the... Uh, tuning down there you see and the volume control is here and so that's the inside of it um, running off a PP3 battery which is there and uh, now of course look at the next thing which is a little bit of a whistle which is probably due to capacitor so um, that's the next thing we have to deal with 
Right, well, uh, now this thing is put back together again. This little bit of squeakiness uh, I've, I've found was cured it with uh, a quick tweak on the uh, trimmers, the, the IF trimmers, which is something which uh, I don't recommend, but uh, in this case it, it cleared up perfectly well. So that is the set itself electronically ready to go. But now it's time for the case. The case, as I said, is here. Um, the first thing we do is the lid, which is uh, there. As you can see, it's, uh, it does need some work. So the uh, first thing we do is uh, clean the lid up and the case up, put it together, and then of course we've got working radio again. While the cabinet is drying after being uh, washed and uh, cleaned as best possible, it's not brilliant, but it will it'll do like, you know. I thought a quick look at the circuit might be an idea here. Um, speaker, we know works. Radio works. It's a uh, push-pull circuit, and the, uh, the original transistors there are replaced with OC71s, and it, uh, it, works, it works very well, actually. Uh, the driver transistor, uh, another one of the Edison transistors, is replaced with the Russian transistor, um, which again works rather well. These here can be replaced with the AF117, the desperate AC, AC127s, um, silicon may be Russian, you know, anything that uh, anything that works with any of these radios on the IF, you can you, you, you can you, you can replace these with. That one might need some work, but apart from that, you know, it's okay. Um, diode is there, by the way, and uh, the and um, there that is the volume control. It's, it's gone over on the circuit for some reason, but that, that's the volume control there. It's a very simple circuit and a very good one. Um, here, of course, is the wave change switch here and here. One, of course, is the oscillator circuit, and the other one is the antenna circuit, the antenna is in here and when it be a transistor set there won't be uh, a lid with the antenna in either so overall it's a normal transistor set in a in a, in a case that was used for the uh, battery battery sets back in the day, the, the vanity case sets um, it was uh, an Echo BPT33 or a Ferranti P10 PT1010, with the, the same set. At this time, Ferranti, uh, Ferranti, Pi, and Echo were the same. That's why. So basically, now it's working, matter, matter of uh, putting it together again. And um, I've got some things to handle, uh, which is uh, it's here, which will, which will go on the front when, when that is done. So uh, that's all we're up to with it. And uh, next thing we've got to do is put the case back together again and put it back all together again as well. Also with this set by the way, it's positive ground. Most of medium sets, in fact all, are positive ground. Um, that's the battery there you see, and it's positive ground. So basically, if, you, if you're using uh, a meter with it, if it's uh, a multimeter that's got a digital display like uh, like uh, like this one here, and uh, it, it will simply display a minus voltage. If you use uh, an analog, then you need to swap the lead drain for this. But remember to swap them back afterwards. So that's um, that's metering for it, by the way. Um, uh, and of course, you things, of course, flip cleaning things, you know, pots, that sort of thing. They're the same, and of course, in this case. Also, there are some uh, there are some hot spots which I'm not going to change in this case because the the, the set worked okay and sometimes it's best to uh, let sleeping parts lie. So now I get the case and we'll put things back together again. I'll put the handle on. Right. Well, a simple handle is easy easy enough to make. Doesn't doesn't match exactly, but uh, in these coronavirus times of course they, you know you get what you can a bit like you did, did, in, did in the 50s really so you know um, so what, what I'll do 
I got a length of uh, lap, lap length of belt. I'm going to glue it round here. Then I'm going to go, go to glue it round the other hole at the, at the top there, and then hopefully from that it'll um, it'll be uh, a working angle, which is what we need. So now we uh, put that together. using the glue of the Gorilla like so and hold that until it's, uh, until it's stuck solid which it should be very quickly you know tonight actually with the night when we all clapped the NHS um, I think I might, I've talked, I might have talked about this before I don't know but for me I really don't see any real point of it um, I know a lot of people would disagree with me on this, but um, I feel very much that uh, if the government paid them the money they were due, the money we owed, the money they were worth, and gave them what they needed to do the job, then of course they would do the, do the job a lot better and fewer people would die. If we well, don't remember also that 98.5% now of the people that have got this virus actually lived afterwards. 98.5%. I know two people, uh, one in the one in the is one is 99, and they both survived it. So I do wonder whether much, whether this particular virus is as bad as they say it is, and also what they're what they're hoping to achieve with it. Uh, I I also have heard through one or two good sources, and they're going to dodgy ones. That this, this virus did not come from the uh, the wet market in Wuhan, but actually in Wuhan there's um, there's a lab laboratory which, which, which specialises in uh, diseases and viruses which transfer from animals to humans, and uh, this virus has either purposely or non-purposely, I don't know which, been let out. And if that's the case, then uh, that, uh, that might explain why the Chinese don't want anyone else to, 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 to go and, and in, investigate the problem, which they don't want to do. Think about it. Not everything you're told on the TV is real, not everything you're told on the TV is true, and not everything you're told on the TV is by any means right. None at all. So maybe, just maybe, this is not uh, not everything we, we all want, want to believe it to be. This one to worry about, think about, you know. Because today in the papers this morning it was all coming out of lockdown. Now it's not. And the reason why they want to hold it in lockdown is, is to prove that they can do it. This country was a country of freedom a country of fair press. So why isn't it that now? Have we really let ourselves go to that extent? And if so, why? Last time the government uh, really had to change a policy because of because of uh, public in intervention was the uh, poll tax rights in 1989. No none since then. Let me know how much security there is about now. Lots of it. And also, despite that, how much um, crime is going up and also how many people are on the streets had to get tickets for, sim for simple things you know like dropping litter fair enough but you know a, 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 a simple pick it up please but oh no 50 quid here 50 quid there you don't have to give it your name to these people no PSO PCSO has the right to have to see your details if you walk away there's nothing they can do but oh no the plastic police are there, are there purely to uh, do the, the real police and dirty work. It just worries me, that's all. It really, really worries me. And there's a handle drying out nicely in the workshop now. It's a bit bright red, I know, but uh, at least it matches the tune down on the radio, if nothing else. Which indeed, and like I said, the best we can get is that. Um, 
They make handles, by the way, at this time. What you do, you go into eBay and you get um, a belt for like one pound fifty, three pound, five pound, or whatever, and that can give you one, two, or three handles depending on. So this was made out of a, a lady's thin dress belt, like that. Um, that a hacker was a few videos back, and it it, it 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 does it does the job because of course I would never use handle like this to carry a radio, but you know it's just 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 for sure really so in there for that. Um, so there you are, so that's a handle. Now of course we've got to sort out uh, getting the radio back together and into units. By the way, the top of this radio, by the way, is 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 being being treated still because there's some marks that there's some trying to get rid of. Um, I've cleaned it by the way with nothing more than uh, Mr. Muscle um, soap and uh, some some elbow grease. That's all we use, and it's come up moderately well. Um, if it if it came up like new, then there'd be something wrong because this set is 52 years old. But it's come up moderately well, and um, when it's done, of course, the radio will go in, and this set will be finished. And I'll probably use it in the garden actually over summer. Right, the lid is now on this unit. Uh, I, I cleaned up much as I could. The marks that I, I couldn't shift, I tried and tried, but uh, I cleaned up as much as I possibly can. And uh, now back in the case, with, with the battle by the way, with one hand, but there you are. The hinges on the back for the lid also hold the screws on to hold the radio in the case. So to get it out, we got to uh, take it out completely. So um, that's what I did. Anyway, with, with it all in place, with a few hands as well, which matches the dial. This is the set on um, on long wave. So, uh, sorry, this is the set on medium wave and on long wave. That's radio four. There's a lot of um, noise in here, so we can't do too much. But go away it's time. That'd be great. This. And there it is back on its original station. These sets are quite nice actually, quite sensitive. But, um, well, this one did take a lot to get it going. It's, with the 6 volt set, it's running on 9 volt battery, which is currently putting it out. That'll do for a while. Um, the PP3. The PP1 you cannot get now. I suppose it could be for Luke, but they're not in general usage as it were. Um, so that's uh, some, that's a modifier. Uh, Panels on these are always missing. Um, I know that Jay, on your video, you you, you handle a, a subscription unit. I didn't do that, but I did do. I've got another length of this uh, this red leather and did that with um, Grilling Glue, and it holds it very well. Although I would never, never use anything like that to carry a radio. It's uh, asking for trouble, and if you ask, ask for trouble, you get it. Um, not to say, really. Means we have a long wave, you know, works quite well, and uh, works quite nicely too. So um, until next time, goodbye. Uh, stay safe in these wooding times, by the way, and um, keep pitching radios. Bye bye.